Alright guys, so we are almost into March of 2017, which, you know what that means? In three months, too many games, 2017 is going to be coming around. Now obviously, last year, I talked so much about too many games, 2016, but now that we're into 2017, too many games is honestly fastly approaching, approaching a lot faster than I thought it would. We're already halfway there, if we're talking about from, two, from the beginning of the year to convention, or we're about three quarters of the way there from last convention. So, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for Too Many Games 2017. So this year's convention is going to be held on June 23rd to the 25th um, at the Greater Oaks, or the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center in Oak, Pennsylvania. Same deal, same as last year and the year before. Um, and it's going to be very much like last year. Um, YouTube celebrity guests, um, all that jazz, I'll be there again. Um, I'm still trying to work out arrangements, um, because usually I would, I would say with Scorpion Slayer 66, um, but he has other plans with other people, so I'm gonna try the room with someone else or do something so that I can actually go to the convention for all three days. That is my main hope and desire that I can make it for all three days this year as well, like I did last year. If you want any info on the convention, I'll leave a little, like, link thing down right here, um, telling you, telling you the, um, the website, and that's where you can get your tickets. So, I'll give you guys the basic prices in case you're thinking about going and you just want to hear me tell you the info. Um, there are the main passes, um, I don't remember how much the single day passes are worth, those you have to go into the website for. But, if you do want to attend all three days, there's the basic three day pass, the mini boss pass, and the final boss pass. Um, keynote, there are no Friday only passes, there's only Saturday and Sunday, so if you want to go Friday, you have to get a three day pass. So, um, the th basic three day pass is 50 bucks. I believe it's actually cheaper than last year, I think it's cheaper than last year, I don't, don't quote me on that, but I believe it's $10 cheaper. Um, I may be wrong, but I remember being 60, but I could be wrong as well. Um, there's the mini boss pass, which I believe is 70? 70? Um, and that one, um, you get the basic three-day pass, which obviously is three days at the convention. Um, and you get a free t-shirt along uh, with that. And then there's the final boss pass, which is $120, um, which gives you, uh, the three days, uh, you get a t-shirt, you get a bag, and you get a pass to go to an exclusive final boss members party, that's where mostly, you know, the game chasers, and the, and the, like, D-Days, and Scott Squatches, that's where all, like, the bigger YouTubers go, so if you want to meet, to and talk to bigger YouTubers, the final boss pass is pretty cool, but since I'm, like, I talk to a lot of them regularly, I'm fine with, I always get the normal pass, because that's what I'm fine with, I'm always talking with Dean, Dave, and Sean, so that doesn't really matter to me, but if you really want to engage and talk with a lot of YouTubers, Final boss pass is definitely the way to go. Um, you know, 120 bucks. It's expensive, but it's pretty cool. I mean, like some convention tickets are that price, and you don't get that much. So, if, I get, if you want to get the final boss pass, go ahead. Um, but for me, basic 3D pass is all I need. So, another part of the video, um, of this video, that I really want to talk about, um, like I want to, I want to talk more about too many games. Because if you go back to my Too Many Games 2016 video, where I showed you the games I got, all that stuff, I'll leave a clickable annotation at the end of the video in my little outro. I, at the very end of the video, I was like, alright guys, so now I'm going to talk about how the actual convention went. Talked about it for 30 seconds, I was like, alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. And, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. So, I know it's, what, three, six, so nine months late about, um, but... I'm going to tell you guys about the convention, little stories, snip snippets of things, and I'll just talk to you about what I thought of the convention, and if you haven't gone, maybe it will lean you into going to the convention. So the convention all takes place in one decent sized building. It's not the biggest building in the world, but it's not the biggest convention in the world, so the building size is fine. The only occasional issue being air conditioning at times, depending on how hot the day is. Um, 
but you know, you're allowed to smoke outside. There's like a little area out in front where people hang, so you can go outside whenever you need. Just, you know, have your pass on you at all times so you can get in. So anyways, the actual convention itself is pretty fun. Um, you enter, and then there's this like, little hallway that leads you to um, the entrance desk where you show them your, like, you show them your tickets, and you get your pass. And then, basically, there's a big room in front of you, and there's, another, there's a door to the left that goes to another room, and then off that room, to the right, there's another big room. Uh, the big room that you see right behind the ticket center, that is the uh, where the vendors are, where the people selling games, uh, where you get to demo games and stuff like that. You know, you get, you get to play stuff. Um, that's basically where most of the people are at. Um, they're out looking for games, wanting to buy stuff, wanting to sell stuff, all the like. Um, you know, there are lots of different vendors. My favorite being Bad Graphics Gamers. Check out their channel. They're really cool guys. Um, their booth is really awesome. They have the biggest NES collection, or big, biggest NES for sale collection that I've ever seen. And it's amazing, just the stuff that they sell. And I bought stuff off of them. I really wanted to support them, so I bought stuff off of them. And they're just amazing guys. Ch like I said, check out their channel. I'll probably leave something clickable for them at the end of the video. Um, but they have a booth. Um, and lots of other people, Chris Minogue, I bought stuff of him, other people just have amazing booths, you can go and buy games. To the left, in that, there's a little doorway, through there you go to the arcade, which, self-explanatory, there's a bunch of arcade machines. Don't quote me on this, but I believe most of them are free to play. I believe, I, I could be mistaken, but I think there's a couple where you have to pay like something, but I could be, again, wrong, but, you know, there's, there's, there's your Pac-Man, there's your DDR, um, there's your more obscure games, um, Hunter from the King of 8-Bit, and I, um, and I think Jared played too, a Scorpion Slayer. Uh, two years ago, uh, we played, uh, this, like, Japanese, like, Dance Dance Revolution type game. Um, he didn't know what it is, I don't remember what it was. Um, except you used, like, the buttons or something. Um, but, anyways, uh, yeah, so, there's the arcade, you know, you get your classics, you got your new arcade machines, so it's a really cool arcade. And there's a room right next to that, which is this big open room. It's basically like a concert hall. There's like a stage, and they have a bunch of people come in and play music, um, you know, on stage. And, you know, they have music, obviously musical, like, game music covers. That's, that's what they mostly specialize in. They get people who, like, do covers of video game soundtrack themes. So, yeah, that's mainly the convention. There's those three things, mainly the arcade, the vendor hall, and the music hall. And they're the places that everyone wants to go. I've never personally really went into the music hall and listened to the music, but they do have pretty good music because you can hear it throughout the place. Just that if you want to hear it really, really well, and you really want to see the artists and the people performing, then you can go to the, to the music section, the music hall. So, Too Many Games, in my opinion, has a very impressive um, selection of YouTube YouTubers that always go. And it's really awesome to see all these YouTubers that you, know, you just usually see on screen that you get to see now in real life. For example, um, AVGN, James Rolfe, he goes, I actually have never met him. I, he's the one person that's always evaded me at the convention. So there's AVGN, The Game Chasers, um, we got Brento Floss, I've seen him before. Um, we got D Dave, obviously, and Sean, and you know, those YouTubers, Scott Squatch, um, Pat the NES Punk. Um, all, like, all the Screenwave team is there, After End Media is there, um, you know, the usual suspects, and I wouldn't want anyone else, 8 Eric, 8 Eric's there too, um, Alpha went in 2015, Alpha Mega Sin went in 2015, I don't know if he, no, he didn't go last year, Alpha Mega Sin didn't go last year, um, so I didn't get to see him this year, which is unfortunate, Alpha Mega Sin is such a great guy, um, That's all I can really think of. Um, Luigi Fiat 123 went last year. Um, yeah, that's all I can really think of off the top, off the top of my head for like you know more well-known YouTubers. Um, but everyone you meet there is just so nice. I mean, really, I have yet to meet one douchebag at Too Many Games. You know, I'll tell you. I'm gonna tell you stories from 2015 and 2016. Um, 2015. I wanted to get my GameCube signed, um, because I had this broken GameCube, it didn't work, but I was like, it'd be a perfect GameCube to get signed. And, I went, and just, the, the, the amount of, like, 
they're so nice. Like, I may have bothered Ape Eric a little bit. He was in the middle of something. Um, but he still did it with a smile on his face, very grateful, very, you know, humble. And that's what I just love about YouTubers, man. Most, most YouTubers that I've met aren't dicks. And, you know, of course you will get your rare, your, your, your exceptions. I'm not gonna say rare exceptions, but you'll get your exceptions. Um, but nevertheless, it's, I still have yet to meet, oh, I've met a couple, actually, but not really at too many games. So, this is also a great convention if you really want to boost your collection. Too Many Games is my go-to place to boost, to get games that I just really wanted, that I didn't have in my collection. If you go back, and like I said, I'm going to leave a click of a link at the end of the video. If you go and watch my Too Many Games 2016 video, I picked up a lot of games I just really needed for my collection. You know, games I'm not going to come across every day. Too Many Games is a great convention to do that. You know, I completed my Donkey Kong Country Trilogy on the Super Nintendo. I um, got Super Metroid. I got Yoshi's Island. I got uh, Legends of the Link to the Past. I got a couple Game Boy Advance games you don't see every day. Mario Party Advance, Donkey Kong King of Swing, uh, WarioWare Twisted Complete in Box. Um, I got Majora's Mask um, for the Nintendo 64. Actually, for a pretty good price, you, you can get really good prices at these conventions. I think I paid 30 about 30 for that gold, non-lenticular, uh, Majora's Mask copy. It could have been off by a couple dollars, but whatever. You know, you can get really good prices, and these people, they will haggle with you. They will negotiate a better price. If you go, hey, this doesn't have a manual, can you lower the price? They will do that. They did that with me for Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. I believe I ended up getting, they had it marked for 50, but I got it for 30 because it didn't have the manual. Like, they will, they will help you out of that convention. There's lots of nice vendors, lots of nice people, and it's just, I, I personally think it's the best place to go and get video games for a good price. I mean, of course, you're not going to pay flea market one, two, three, five dollars for good games. You're going to pay close to retail value, but you you still can get a good deal if you bundle stuff. You can see things that you never see. I, Chris Minogue, I think, actually had this. I wanted to talk to him about it. He, I think it was him, that had a bunch of GameCube, like, demo discs. Or, like, GameCube, like, you know, like, there's, like, a bunch of GameCube demo discs where you get to see demos of games and stuff. You just see stuff that you don't see out in the wild or even online sometimes. You know, it gets you interested, it makes you want to buy it, and too many games, like I said, it's per it's a perfect place if you want to boost your collection. If you, if you, if there's a, like, a really rare game that you want, go to too many games. It's, you can get, you can find it easily. Um, like... For example, the <laughs> I had trouble finding Resident Evil 4, but other than that, I could find every other game easily. And Resident Evil 4 is a common game, so I mean, I guess I just, just not lucky. Um, but I did get one eventually. Um, but yeah, if you really want to boost up your game collection, Too Many Games is also a really good place to go. So that's my piece for trying to convince you to go to Too Many Games if you if you are still unsure. That's all I've got to say um, in the ter in the way of you know, persuasion, and, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. So now I'm gonna talk about, more so, my personal experiences there. I mean, I know I mentioned my personal experiences, but I mean, with my friends, and what we did, and just everything, even outside of too many games, just what happened the past two years. So I'll start with 2015. Um, 2015 was a relatively quieter year than 2016 was, because 2015 was my first year going. Um, and I didn't know that many people at the time. I really, I really mainly knew Snoo, Scorpion Slayer, and King of 8-Bit, who was, they were who I hung around with the whole time. And we had a, I mean, I had a ball. I loved meeting Jared and Hunter. They are two amazing guys. And we did shit. I mean, what else can I say? Well, I only went for one day that year. I think I went the Saturday, I believe. I want to say the Saturday I went. Um... But, yeah, I went, yeah, yeah, I went the Saturday, and it was just me, Jared, and Hunter, mostly. We walked around, and we talked to people, of course, like, we talked to Alpha Mega Sin, um, we had, a, me, 
Jared and Alpha had a really deep conversation that year. Me, Jared, Hunter, and Alpha had a really deep conversation that year. We, uh, you know, we got a little bit personal, but that's what you like, you know, YouTubers, you can really connect with them, and that's what makes them so amazing, and so amazing to meet, let alone just amazing as a human being. Other than that, there's really, you know, 2016 was just the one that swept me off my feet. I was just like, whoa, this is amazing. You know, 2015, I loved, I loved Too Many Games 2015. But Too Many Games 2016 is where it was so much fucking fun. I had a ball. 2016 was when I met everyone. I met everyone that I, well, almost everyone that I knew from the community. Sean, D, Dave, Jeremy, Connor, all them. And it's like, all, first of all, I love them all. I love every single one of them, and I cannot wait to see all of them at Too Many Games this year. I can't wait. Um, and, just the opportunity to get to hang with these guys that, you know, we have group chats on Facebook and we talk shit about each other, but it's just one of those things where I, I had a ball. I, we went to this Mexican restaurant. I don't remember, I think it was pretty good. I don't remember if I liked it that much or not, but you know, they went nights in a row and we went to their hotel room. And didn't Jeremy write something on a thing with a banana, on a mirror with a banana or something? I don't know. I'm going to put different pictures and clips and, well, not really clips, but some clips that I'll take from other YouTubers and credit um, at the end of the video uh, because I just want to show you guys what we did, um, what the fun time was, how, how it was. But really, if you want a more in-depth look at too many games, like I said, Go check out my 2016 video. My 2015 one is down because there were a few problems with the video. Um, so, 2016, I'll, I'll, I might put up my 2015 video again, but my 2016 is, you know, a little bit meh. Or my 2015 is a little bit meh. Alright guys, so, that's really it. That's all I really want to say for this video. Um, just my announcement of Community Games 2017. I know it's still three months away, three and a half months away, close to four actually. Actually no, it kind of, kind of still is four months away because it's still February 20th. But it is getting closer, and I am very excited for what's to come. I don't know what's going to come, but it's going to come, and Too Many Games 2017, I'm stoked for it. So, make sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Sean. Sean Long Dong. Yo. Then Dee Dee. Yeah. You alright, Sean? Are you going back from war? I need to know. I'm going back to turn on the fan. How bad was it? It's pretty bad, dude. What do you think's gonna happen? Well, I mean, I take a shit and it doesn't smell like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what shit smell? It's probably just because we ate the Mexican. The Mexican went through really fucking fast, holy shit. I don't know, dude. One time I took a shit from Taco Bell. Well, yeah, well, that's Taco Bell. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fuck you, Jeremy. Jeremy, I think you've been poisoned. I haven't shit, shit since last night. You want to talk about well, that? Don't do it again, okay? Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what <laughs> privileges are canceled. Yeah. You yeah. poop when you get home. Yeah, you go outside, dog. <laughs> so, Jared here. Um, we're trying to get on our way to the convention. He's having trouble with the freaking GPS. Not using it, but freaking taking off the contraptions on it. There you go. Fuck you. Oh yeah, by the way, this is like day two of the convention that we're going to. 
And as promised, in the back seat there, it's my Harry Potter robe. Promised I'd wear it. So let's get the fuck to the convention. Are you ready? Here we go. Three. Three.